I'm a music fanatic. Music's as close as I get to anything spiritual or religious. When I go into a thrift store or flea market, I'm almost in a trance digging through crates, imagining what new piece of music I might discover. This record here is the most incredible piece of music I've ever heard. The singer's voice is so unusual, it's so haunting, and I've become so obsessed with her, but I don't know anything about her or who she is. Imagine finding a Nina Simone, a Billie Holiday, or an Amy Winehouse, but you're the only one who's ever heard her. All I know is she's somebody called Shella Record. I don't care if you like reggae or not. If it doesn't make you feel something, you might just want to check you've still got a pulse. There was a, a, a British connection, Shelley. Not everybody wanted to know what's in their closet. Right. Put it that way, right? And if you were doing something that would haunt you, would you expose it? I've done all I can in Toronto to find Shella, and I know it seems crazy, but if I want to know the truth about the singer, then I have to go to the source. I'm going to drop everything and go to Jamaica to see if I can track down Bunny Striker Lee the man who holds the key to this mystery. When was the last time you saw her? Just after the song, you know. A year she gone, her brother, I've never seen her since. We just lost sight and sound of her after that. I never heard anything more. I keep hearing that she went to Australia. This obsession is getting a little bit out of hand, like I'm chasing this 70-year-old woman who probably doesn't even want to be found. I don't know whether you want to call it the mind energy. You know, you can talk about something enough that it appears. 